series opener against the Red Sox. Lucina has struggled, to say the least, lately. Bottom of the second, already 2-0 Detroit. Plus it Polanco up the middle. The Tigers would have 20 hits in this game. Not all of them off of the moose. Bottom of the third, Pudge Rodriguez steps to the plate. Right up the middle. Carlos Guillen would score one of 16 runs scored by the Tigers. Two batters later. Lucina is still in there. I mean, it's only the bottom of the third. And Ryan Rayburn. He, too, goes up the middle. Every Tigers starter had at least one hit. Next batter, Brandon Inge. Is he going to get a hit, too, on this shallow pump? Bobby Abreu on the run. Can't get there. Musina, three innings, nine and six earned. Second straight start. Mike Musina couldn't pitch into the fourth inning. As for the other side, Justin Verlander kept Joe Torres' Yankees bats quiet. Here's Verlander. Striking out Jorge Posada, Jason Giambi, Bobby Abreu, you get the idea. Verlander, seven oh, innings, Charlie. three hits, six strikeouts. It was 11 nothing. bases loaded. Brandon Inge going to drive three more home. Tigers win 16 nothing. It's the first time in Mucina's career he allows at least six earned runs in three consecutive starts. Ouch first place so a critical series opening in Seattle bottom of the first each row facing John Lackey did he get a piece of that was that a foul tip at the dirt well the home plate umpire Gary Darling calls him out each row says no no that's a foul tip that hit the chalk see that bouncing up very tough to tell John McLaren asking for some clarification and then McLaren's gonna go after Jerry Meals the third base umpire I mean this is old school this was old-fashioned McLaren gone after the first Mariner at bat of the game to want to fire up his team mm, not exactly Garrett Anderson red hot rips one down the line Angels had a three nothing lead and Lackey wouldn't need anything more than that Lackey shut out the Mariners on July 31st here in the bottom of the fourth gets Kenji Jojima and now it's Ichiro in the eighth. Lackey is the first pitcher to shut out the Mariners twice in one season, which is Burt Blylevin did it in 1989. Of course, they're playing them, so that made it easier here on Monday. Jake Peavy, 34 strikeouts against the D-backs in three games this season. Here he gets Orlando Hudson to become the Padres' all-time strikeout leader, 1,037. Congrats to you. And then he would add to his record. LeVon Hernandez, Chris Young, Orlando Hudson, and finally, Eric Burns, who was just two for his last 13 coming in. They're all Ks in the scorebook. PB 11 Ks in the game. And Burns, he's not happy. See, that, that's what happens when cooler heads don't prevail. You, you kick the cooler. Glow Green lines where Van Hernandez pitched to. Burnsy, excellent catch by Burnsy. Now who's kicking coolers, huh? Probably Glow Green in the other dugout. Top play nominee, top six, Burns. Well, you're not going to have a refreshing drink after this. You kick the cooler, but that's his 19th. Only run that PB would allow. Jeff Blum then off Hernandez. That counts for two points because there was a man on his third of the year. Padres go up 2-0. So now PB's going to get himself a win if he can hang in there and say Trevor Hoffman can close it out. He's been struggling recently. Runners on the corner. 2-2 two -two pitch, two out. Miguel Montero, a little bit of a CPR save, but it counts just the same. Hoffman, number 516 in his career. Twins and Indians, the Tribe needing to win to stay two and a half up on Detroit. Uh, I believe they squeak by the Yankees on Monday. One on the Indians, Victor Martinez in the third with one on. Deep, right center. Get out of town. Hey. Sorry when you were gone, I got used to doing hey. 20th of the season, 3 nothing Indians. Bottom four, 5 nothing Tribe. The Bronx up, Travis Hafner, two on, two outs, base, knocks with two outs are studs. Two will score, and it's 7-0 Indians. The route is on. This is the best part, though. In a 7-3 game, there's two on for Mike Redmond. He's facing Rafael Perez. There's nobody out. That's key, because Redmond's going to ground to Casey Blake, who will start the 5-4-3 triple play. First Indians triple play in Jacobs Field history, first by a Cleveland since August 7th, 1992. There you go, just beats the throw. Perez, fired up, 8-3, inning. Hitting the Mets challenge Utley almost immediately. Jose Reyes, ground ball right side. Utley slides, makes a stop, and the throw, nice play. Now Pat Burrell loves hitting against the Mets. Burrell's gonna go deep off Brian Lawrence, 38th career home run against the Mets. That ties him for the most among active players with Barry Bonds and Chipper Jones, and 25 of those 38 up with two strikes on it. All right, here's Utley. 
What a story. Utley returns and he goes big fly. 18th of the year for Chase. Phillies up five, two in the bottom of the sixth. Utley again went three for five on the night with two RBIs. So after that four game losing streak, the Phillies have won two in a row, including an important 9 2 win over the Mets. Braves trailing both the Mets and Phils as they hit South FLA. Old people call that Miami. Bobby Cox looking on. He's an old people. Top one. Braves up one nothing. Runner on second. Cheaper Jones doubles back to the wall. Matt Diaz scores. Diaz four hits in this contest. Two nothing Atlanta. And with the bases chucked in the fourth, Braves up six two. Make it ten. Brian McCann got to have the money ball. His fourth career grand. He's got Olsen credited for ten runs in a 13-2 loss to the Bravos. All right, so as we look at the NL wild card race, no movement one through three. All winners there, four and five. Braves Rockies switch spots. Two more big series. Serious Monday, number 10, Fred. Mexico, USA. That. Amari Stoudemire, circus shot there. Or as Steve was telling me in Vegas, that's a circus, circus shot. Plus, the whole team came in one car. At number nine, the Twins and Indians. Grady Sizemore, blooper. Jason Bartlett goes back and makes the grab. On the 50th anniversary of Althea Gibson becoming the first African-American player to win the U.S. Open, these other great women reflect on the accomplishment. To uh, celebrate this and along with Althea Gibson, uh, it's just really a great honor. Althea means courage. All the things she accomplished um, in her time, and I think that we can all learn something from her. She showed courage, perseverance, when a lot of people weren't showing it. So she was extraordinary. Tough to follow that act. Number seven, Mexico, USA. Here's LeBron. Mexico has scored 100 points and lost by 27. It's the most given up by the U.S. in the tournament. Here's a better basketball game. WNBA playoffs. Indiana Fever overcome a 39-17 second quarter deficit to the Connecticut Sun. They come back from 22 down to win the game and the series. 93-88 in overtime. So from FIBA to Fever. Yes. To the Mets and Phillies. Jimmy Rollins up the middle. Luis Castillo. Tremendous dive. You know, Rollins can run. Gets him anyway. Number four, Mets Phils. Again, Luis Castillo. Ground to the first. Look at Ryan Howard. Now, when I see Ryan Howard, I think of one word. Nimble. Some guys go big man power. Right. Big man, of course, no, is two words, nimble, so that's yeah. not good. Uh, Phils one nine two. Diamondbacks, Padres at number three. Khalil Green line into left. Eric Burns. He got that baseball. He makes a handful of these. Maybe, more, maybe two handfuls every season. Number two, Yanks Tigers, Carlos Guillen, deep fly ball to center, Melky Cabrera. Bless his heart, he got an out. <laughs> Somebody. They didn't get a lot of those. 16 runs, but actually they did record an out. There you saw it. Twins and Indians at number one. Mike Redmond grounds at the third. Casey Blake steps on the bag, throws the second for the second out. There to first, and you've just seen a triple play. Indians first triple play since August of 92. They won 8-3. Brandon Webb won the side last year, having a better year this season. Bottom one, his team already up one nothing. That's some nasty junk to Milton Bradley inning over. Then Brian Giles inside corner. That's a pitch that Webb is really effective with. That tailing fastball that starts off the plate and then ends up on the corner. Meanwhile, helping himself, Justin Upton scores. Webb ties the game at two with his lumber. Bottom six. He backs up 3 2. They give Webb another lead. He gives it right back. Mike Cameron, solo Jackson, his 18th of the season. We're tied at three. Bottom six. Now 4 3. Two on. Kevin Kumanov with the sacrifice bunt. Webb off. Not sure about third. Goes to first. Looks like we have an out there, but Lance Barksdale says Orlando Hudson's foot or toe is not touching that bag. It's so close, you, you would think that you have to give them the benefit of the doubt. And then Barksdale, very casual. <laughs> that was a lazy toss. Of, uh, Melvin. <laughs> Next batter, Josh Bond with the bases loaded. Here comes Adrian Gonzalez. It's now 5-3. Then Rob Makoviak, two batters later, gets hit with the bases loaded. Webb leaves after giving up a season worst. Six earned runs. Top of nine, here comes Trevor Hoffman. 35th save of the year. 517th of his career. The Padres, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Back Alfonso Soriano, back from the 15-day DL. Bottom third, he's up with two on. First pitch of the at-bat, swings, and he's out. 0 for 4 for Soriano. Top five, Corey Hart, little flair. J.J. Hardy and Ricky Weeks are coming around when it drops. 
Brewers up 3-0, but their leagues haven't been safe this year. Brewers have 13 losses in games with a lead of three or more runs. That's the most in the majors this season. Let's see what would happen here. Bottom seven, Scott Line breaking the game, facing Jock Jones with two on. Benched earlier this season, but hitting 357 in August, that's going to drive in two. And Jones ties the game at three. They're digging it at Wrigley. Later in the inning, former LSU star Ryan Terrio. Off line brings glove. Jones scores a go-ahead run. Line brings two-thirds of an inning, gave up three runs. Thanks a lot. Top eight, Brewers trailing 5-3. Prince Fielder, that's well hit. Soriano can't quite get to it. Fielder reaches first to start the inning. Later in the inning, two outs, two men on. Bob Howery and Gabe Gross going at each other. Gross fouled off six pitches with the count full. Just kept working and working and made Howery have to keep working and working. Fans at Wrigley like, come on, get him out. 12th pitch of the at-bat. And that's what Howard was waiting for. That's not going to hurt a bit. Cubs going to win at 5-3. They dropped Milwaukee two and a half back into third place in the Central because they couldn't keep up with Jones. In the third because the Cards had climbed back into the race. They were trying to get past the Astros and Cecil Cooper, their new interim manager. Cardinals trying to get to the 500 mark. Top first, two on for Chris Duncan. No home runs in his last 28 games. Update. Duncan has got a home run off Woody Williams. Three-run shot, 21st of the year. Cards take a 3-0 lead. So Tony La Russa still having the pitcher bat in the eight hole. It's Brayton Looper. Squares the front, uh, squares the button, then fouls it back, and then checks the signs at third. And then finally able to drop one down with two strikes and advances Yadier Molina to second. So Looper gets the job done. Next batter is second baseman Aaron Miles in the ninth spot. They're putting the pitcher in the eighth spot. You have Albert Pujols, four position players, batting in front of him when he comes up in late innings. And Miles does his job, too, so the Cardinals win it 7-0. They had lost three in a row. Irvin Santana, not good on the road, 1-9, 8.06 ERA. The Mariners jumped on him. Santana already in trouble in the bottom of the first. Jose Guillen with a double. That'll drive in two. Mariners up 2-0, just like that. Raul Labanya has walked. So two batters later, Adrian Beltre. And that's line down that's right. going to the corner. Gian and Ibanya score, and the Mariners out to a 4 0 lead. But wait, there's more. Two batters later, after a Richie Sexton ground out, Kenji Jojima. That gets through. Beltre scores, the Mariners up 5 0. So Mike Sosha comes out and says, Irvin, thanks, but uh, time for to hit the shower. Came out one out in the first inning. Five runs, three hits, and two walks in that one-third of an inning. Top seven, Angels came all the way back to tie it at five. Vlad Guerrero, no wristbands, no batting gloves. Just a double to drive in Jeff Mathis. Angels go up 6-5. Then Mariners down 6-5, bottom seven, Ichiro. Getting that one right back. Unieski better court scores. It's six apiece. Top eight now. Tied at six. Gary Matthews is out take second. Kenji Jojo was throw too late. Or was it? Whoa. Close play there. Might have been out. Second base, some Jerry Mills made the call. He threw out John McLaren on Monday night. Same at bat, Kendry Morales, double off the wall. Matthew scores. Angels take the lead 7 6. Later in the inning, bases loaded, two outs. Rick White comes on to pitch for the Mariners. And Guerrero says, Put that in your goatee. Angels score two more runs to take a 9 6 lead, and they go on to win it 10 6. Vlad, four for five. A lot closer to Seattle. Top of the second, Andy Pettit against Manny Ramirez. Ramirez, career low slugging percentage this year, just 487, but that one's gone. 20th this year, 490 of his career. Red Sox down 2 1. Top of the fifth, that's now 2 2. Andy Pettit, David Ortiz, woo! Stick those hands in a bucket of pine tar next time up. Pettit, seven innings, six hits, three earned, six K. Solid. Bottom five, 2 2 game. Dice came out to Zaka, serves up the home run to Derek Jeter. Yankees lead 3-2. Here's Manny, base hit up the middle, but the back seizes up on him. Back spasms. He leaves the game. Bottom seven. 3-3 game, Johnny Damon at the dish. With one on, 
That is gone. Barely over the wall and right, but it's far enough. Ninth home run for Damon, and the Yankees have a 5-3 lead. He gets the curtain call. Matsuzaka's ERA against the Yankees this year, 6.98. Uh, it's time for another edition of Jabba Chamberlain. The young Yankee legend gets J.D. Drew 17 Ks in 10 innings. Rivera gets the save, and the Yankees are set. Tigers and Royals now. Royals are out of it, but the Tigers aren't. They trail Cleveland by two and a half in the Central. Jim Leland and company had plenty of hits, but couldn't do anything with them. First inning, after two hits, Carlos Guillen strikes out with two on. So two hits and no runs. So we go to the fourth, another opportunity. After two hits, Brandon Inge at the plate. But that's not going to hurt at all. So once again, two hits in the inning, no runs. Brian Bannister takes care of that one himself. Sixth inning, after three hits, Timo Perez with an opportunity. Two men on for him, and he strikes out. So three hits in the inning, no runs. Seventh inning, two more hits, Sean Casey at the plate. And with a man on second, Casey will fly out. Tigers, 16 hits, but they manage just three runs, and that doesn't get it done. Bannister wins for the sixth time in seven decisions, and Jim Leland. Monday night, the Fanatic <laughs> tripping. He's funny. Top of the second, we mentioned Manny Ramirez, career-low slugging percentage this year. So does Carlos Delgado, just 420, but that is a home run. That ties him with Billy Williams' all-time list, 426 career. Jason Wirth entered the game with nine consecutive hits. Tom Glavin's only strikeout right there. Glavin went seven, no earned runs, in line for career win 302. To the eighth, Jimmy Rollins slugging almost 100 points higher than Delgado. What a year he's having. 32 doubles, 15 triples, and his 23rd homer, and only nine errors at short. A 2-1 game. Meanwhile, Shane Victorino, 34. Fourth steal of the year. Had only four last year. Goes to third on the air. LaDuca, the throwing error. Later in the at-bat, Aaron Rowan hitting the ball more than 43 feet with a full swing. Normally good, but here it works out. Somehow this stays fair. Victorino scores, and the game is tied. We go to extras. Bottom 10. Tied at two. One on for Ryan Howard. Fill thy yeah, horn with oil and go home. Two-run Jackson, 35th this year. There are four back of the Mets, and Cole Hamels could pitch this weekend. Braves get the Mets this weekend, so they had John Smoltz on three days rest to get him ready for that series, pitching against the Marlins. Bottom second, Marlins down one nothing, running on a first. Jeremy Hermida, two-run shot, his 14th of the season. Smoltz, three runs, six hits, six innings, only 79 pitches, so he should be okay with this weekend. Rick Vandenhurt gets Kelly Johnson there. Vandenhurt, five innings work, five hits, and then he gets Andrew Jones. He struck out eight. The Braves struck out 19 times as a team. Chipper Jones made... The connection there, two-run shot off Armando Benitez, 22nd of the season, game tied at three. Bottom 11, runner on first, Hermida deep, Matt Diaz and Andrew Jones, look out. The ball drops in between them, runners on second and third for the Marlins. After an intentional walk, loads the bases, Alejandro Deaza with a sacrifice fly, Alfredo Omezaga scores, so... Alejandro Deaza, Alfredo Omezaga, they should play for the A's, <laughs> but they play for the Marlins and they win 4-3. Six and a half up on Minnesota. Like to get rid of them whenever they can. Travis Hafner, if he could get scorching down the stretch, what a difference that would make. 19th homer of the year. Indians lead 2 0. Bottom seven. So a close game. 4 3. Casey Blake to center. Torrey Hunter. Look out. Six straight gold gloves. Take a look and listen to the sound effect. To the sound. Wow. Good talk about. Man. It'd be okay, easy for me to say I'm wearing loads of makeup. Top of the ninth, Joe Borowski, 36 saves last year as a Marlin, 38 this year. The Indians have won six of seven. They lead the Tigers by three and a half now. ...in L.A. to face the Dodgers. Chad Billingsley on the mound for L.A. Top of the first, Nook Logan is up and down. Nothing wrong with your television. That's Nook Logan again doing the same thing. Top third, Ryan Zimmerman got him too. Seven innings of work, six Ks, and a walk for Billingsley. Bottom third, Dodgers up two to one. How about some run support? Jeff Kenoff, Jason Bergman, 17th this season, 362 for his career. He passed Joe DiMaggio. Wow. Dodgers take the three to one lead. Top seven, Brian Schneider. 
And Shea Kellenbrand with a great catch. That's a top play nominee. Bottom seven, game tied at three bases loaded for Andre Ethier. That's deep. Is it deep enough? Mm -hmm. Mark Sweeney there in time. Dodgers win it 4-3. They've taken seven of eight against the Nationals. Rockies came in with a better record than the Brewers and the Cardinals, but they're not in the NL Central. Four and a half out of the wild card. Barry Bonds at 0 for 4 against Colorado. Tuesday night. Double play. So top of five, Matt Cain pitching better of late. Curveball there, then top of six. Ian Stewart on some high cheddar. Cain would have eight strikeouts in seven innings. He would win the game. Now four and one. In his last five. One reason why he won it, Benji Molina, homers to left, his 14th of the season. Giants have won six in a row and 12 of 16. So here's your up to the second NL wild card standings. The Padres, remember back in the day, Stan, we were yeah. kids. Uh -huh. If you used to dunk on someone, you'd go face. Yeah, I, well, I never dunked on anybody. Well, this is, this is a big face. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> USA wins 117 to 78 in Vegas. Heard is a good Beatles show. Number nine, Roberta, Vinci, and Maria Sharapova. Now, check out Vinci. Yeah! Woo! She won I, I won a game at the U.S. Open. Uh, she lost Yeah. She lost six, love, six, one. Yeah, she right. got that game. Number eight, look at Jimmy Rollins. He really should be an MVP candidate. He hits, he fields only nine errors this year. Great play as the Phillies win. Number seven, girl power, D-Rays and Orioles. Check out the Orioles ball girl. She's like, what? <laughs> Off the Melvin Morris foul ball. Orioles lost though 15 to 8. They should put her in. Yeah, number six, Tiger Woods got the new video game out, 08. All those clones, a little uh, turn the club over. He can use that maybe this week at the Deutsche Bank. And then this is the Tiger staple move, made famous in that commercial. Get the lob wedge out. Woohoo! Go buy the video game and then go to Boston to watch him play golf. Number five, Mets and Phillies, Ryan Howard, Jose Reyes. Taking a base hit away from him. But uh, we're going to see Howard a little bit later. I thought the Rollins catch was better. Number four, Bobby Orr. Look at Ricky Weeks on the shortstop side of the bag. Hurling towards center field. Turns and throws in the air. Hunter was okay. Twins lost, so 6 5. Number two. Ryan Garko. Look at Nick Quinto. Oh, bare hands. Gets him by a step. Get the refrigerator off your back, Garko. <laughs> But the Indians would win.